Proverbs chapter 2. Now, I finished Kosaku monthly reading assignments. I give myself assignments every month. I finished it early this month. And so I said, I can read anywhere I want for the next couple days. So I chose Proverbs because I like Proverbs. So Nakabasa Kogi comes to Proverbs. And I think, I think God wanted me to read there because he gave me a message. Proverbs chapter 2 and verse number 16. Proverbs chapter 2 and verse number 16. Alipay ko sa tanan at papa na makapil na makarumuntag mga ayok ko na kung alip magtabi-tabi mamina o lang and mga ayok ko na dali kamo mo I'm going to talk to everybody I'm going to ask you not to talk the message topic this morning on the Hilis Gotan sa mensahe karumuntag serioso man it's a very serious topic I don't I don't think I'll use much humor, more like the kind jokes or lingao lingao. Pero mga ayok ko na kamo mina na ko, especially kamo mga batanon. Pamina ng jud kana ko karon buntag. Proverbs chapter two, verse number sixteen. Kunana say amen. amen. Kana maning dot palio pas pagbasa palong sa jokes. My text verse this morning is verse nineteen. But we're gonna read verse sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen first. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 16. I'll read English. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger with, which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again. Neither take they hold of the paths of life. Besaya, aron aron pagpaningkawas kanimo gikan sa langyaw nga babaye. Bisang gikan sa langyaw nga naga ulog ulog pinagi sa yung mga pulong. Sapat niyo yung ulog ulog. Flatter, magsulti sa tao sa mga butang at ganahan matungo nila. Bisang wala ka naga tobot. That's what flattery is. It means you say nice things that you don't really believe about them. Nagapulong-ulog, pinagi sa yung mga pulong. Age, Michael, we're not doing that. You understand me? Where am I? What verse was I in before Michael interrupted me? Verse 17. Nga nagasalikway sa magtutultol, magtutultol sa iyang kabatonhan. I'm sorry, I struggle. I have a sign. Kabatonhan. O nagakalimo sa pakigsabot sa iyang Diyos. Kay ang iyang balay nagakiling ngato sa kamatayon ug ang iyang mga agyana ngato sa mga patay walay usa nga nagato kaniya nga makabalik pag usab ni sila makakupot sa mga agyana sa kinabuhi so my message comes from verse number 19 none that go unto her return again Walay usa nga nagatong kaniya nga makabalik pag usab. Talk to you about something very serious this morning. I'm going to ask you to listen to every word. Beth, are you listening to every word right now? You need to hear this message today. Kinahangalan ka makadoon sa mensahe karong buntag na ako musulit niyong prangka kung ako mukita sa mga batano mo story ako balhin ni ako mo mo balhin mo balhin ni mo. I'm just going to move you. Because we're not going to let you distract from the preaching this morning. We need this truth. None that go unto her return again. I'm going to advance. I'm going to warn you in The message is going to be strong. But I believe it's the right time and the right place, and I'm certain. Sikat ato jud ko kinang mensay ngang Jose Perahan matungog na to karon buntag. Magapuna ta dayon kumu makalingkod para sa mensahe karon. Holy Father, thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for your goodness to us, Lord God. Would you please put your hand on the message in a special way? God, would you fill me with your Spirit? Would you help me to say exactly what is needed, Lord? We have visitors. I didn't expect that, but you knew. And you gave me the message for today. Lord God, would you help me to deliver it without fear? 
Would you help me to say exactly what you put on my heart? Help me, Lord, not to change anything that needs to be said. Holy Spirit of God, bless the message. Guide my thoughts. Give me a clear mind. Lord, would you help my Messiah? Lord, I'm struggling with Messiah this morning. My mind is tired. My, I'm weary. God, please bless us this morning. Strengthen me. Work through me. Fill me with your spirit, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pwede kong maglingkod. Kini mga verses, nagastudi ang kabahin sa babae, gitawag sa English, the strange woman. What is the strange woman? Now, when we use the word strange today in English, we mean not normal. Lahik siya. Delik kasagaran. But that is not what strange means in the book of Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs, when the Bible talks about the strange woman, it means strange like stranger. Sabta niyo ang pulong stranger, wala na ilhan ni mo. Diba? So that is correctly translated as langyao nga babaye. But it's not just talking about bisan unsang babaye nga wala pa na ilhan ni mo. It's talking about a wicked woman who is tempting you to sin with her. She's not your wife, so she's a strange woman. You understand, I know my wife. Kailan jud ko, sinate. Is it not sinate? Not sinate ko sa akong nasawa. I know her intimately. But any other woman to me is a strange woman, meaning she's not my wife. Wa koy katungod maghikap kaniya. Tinood ba? Stranger, langyao. What these verses are talking about, it's Solomon, King Solomon, nag-war, nagpasidaan sa yung anak si Rehoboam. Rehoboam was going to be the next king. So, kung mamatay na si Solomon, si Rehoboam, yung anak, mahimong sunod hari, dahil si Solomon nagsula sa Proverbs, sa Book of Proverbs, sa mga panunod ni Hon, ngato ni Rehoboam, sa paghatag niya o kaalam, arong nagahimong siya sa mayong mga desisyon. God, he was trying to give his son wisdom and one of the things he warned his son about was wicked women. Now don't, don't misunderstand. If he had been writing to his daughter, he would have flipped it. Everything he said to Rehoboam is also true talking about a woman or talking to a girl about the dangers of wicked men. Kung siya nag-estudy sa iyong anak na babae, nag-warn siya niya kung ta, kabahin sa daw ng mga lalaki, nag-aran mong kawat sa iyong pagkaputli. So it's not just that us only, only, the, only a man can, can, can fall into this trap. No, no, no. It's everybody. Everybody can learn from these verses. Kung babae ka o lalaki, kinik ng mga verses makatabang kanimo. Siya nag-warn sa iyong anak, kabahin sa mga peligro sa sexual sin. Sexual sin. La, what, what do I call that? It's not lawas known. It's not unod known. It's sexual. Lang. It's a lack of sexual. Physical sexual sins. I want to be very, very clear at the very beginning of the message this morning. English or not, I want to make sure it's clear. Any kind of sexuality Outside of marriage between one man and one woman is a sin. Salam mangud, bisan unsang klase sa sexuality, tunga, ah, English lang. I lost my thought, I'm sorry. Ah, there we go, so let me try it again. Salam mangud, ang bisan unsang klase sa sexuality, kung naagawas sa tinood kami niyon. And I uska lalaki, uska babay. That means sexuality of any kind between a man and a woman who are not married is sin. The Bible calls it fornication. Dautan pakikilawas. That's what the Bible calls it. Kung dua ka ta, wala pa namin yun. Say, well, we love each other. That has nothing ka na wala ay labot. Wala ay kalabotan. No, is it? Nahigug ma ay? Nahigug ma ay? Nahigug ma ay? Diba? Ka na wala ay alibay para sa sala? It is sin. Kung wala sila namin yun. I don't 
care if they're in high school or 40 years old. I don't care if one is married and the other isn't. It doesn't matter. It's an awesome sexuality. That means sexuality between a man and a man is always sin. Always. Oh, the Bible, the, the Bible calls it sodomy. He can say, long, he can say, uh, should I get out Sodom? To mga puno sa mga bayo. God says, homosexuality is sin. I don't care what the world says. God's right. Sakto siya. Sayang sila. Siya ang nagsula sa bala o dilig sila. That's not what the Bible teaches. You don't get to choose your own right and wrong. Do you know what that means? Sexuality between a woman and a woman is sin. You say, well, what if they're married? They can't get married. Ang lalaki ang babae, dali pwede mo minyo. Oh, pasin, pasin, pastor Mike, pasin, ang converse, maghimo sa balaod, dayon pwede sila mong minyo. It's still not marriage. It's not marriage. Marriage is defined by God. One man, one woman, for life. Duwag ka lalaki, dali pwede maghimo sa kaminyo on. Dali mahimo. Duwag ka babae, dali maghimo sa kaminyo on. Dali mahimo. Have you ever noticed, if you have two men, they can't reproduce? Try. These trans, crazy trans people. Well, do you believe that that trans woman is really a woman? Lalaki man siya, pero huna huna siya ng babae, naghimok sa sex change surgery, naggamit sa mga hormones, nagatuba ka nga, babae na siya? No. Laki ki hapon, pero nalibok dyan. Say, Pastor Mike, kanusay ka mo to ang babae dyan siya, kung mga anak siya. And for now, believe it. Until a trans man can check bitch, bear children, I will not believe it's a woman. And just in case you're really confused, like you listen too much to the news, no man will ever give birth to a child. <laughs> he lacks the equipment. It's not going to happen. And no woman will ever give birth to a child without a man. So, I'm sorry, sexuality was coming on. One man and one woman. I don't care if the Congress passes a law. God's still right. Amen. God invented marriage, not the Filipino Congress, not the American Congress, not the President. God! Let's take a look at what Jesus said about, about uh, 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 marriage and sexuality. I don't know if I'm a Christian. I don't a Christian. Many wicked people, they call themselves Christians, but they argue that it's okay. They live a lot on sexuality. They say, oh, they were born that way, and they can't help it. And that's the kind of nonsense they, a bunch of stupid lies. And here's the argument they say. They say, si Jesus Christo wala chud nagwali patok sa pagkabayo. You ever heard that stupid argument? It's really easy to answer. Sayong kayo, mutubag kit ka ng kabuwang. Mutubag niya ng kabuwang, sorry. Very easy to answer. Two things. You say, Jesus didn't preach against homosexuality. Well, let's take a look and see what Jesus did teach. It's very easy to prove the foolishness of it. Listen to me. When someone says to you, I believe the Bible, but I also believe it's not sin to be a homosexual. They don't believe the Bible. No, they don't. I follow Jesus. Okay, then let's see what Jesus said about it. You're, they're right. Jesus never directly answered the question, is homosexuality, is lesbianism sin? Jesus never answered that directly. Well, let's see what he did say. Look at me in Luke chapter 24, verse 25. When someone says Jesus never preached against that, Argument number one, to prove that's foolishness. Argument number one, Jesus very clearly believed the entire Old Testament. Si Jesus nagatood jod sa Tibo Oak Old Testament, he can say Genesis 
Samalachi. Did you know it's right here in these books right here that Jesus said, "Kung lalaki magdulog sa lalaki samat sa babae, kana ang dulong tanan." I think it's right here in Leviticus. So if Jesus said, "I believe the Old Testament," that means not uyo sha sa mga pulong sa Leviticus pud. Look with me in Luke chapter 24, verse 25. See, Jesus Christ, na gastore dere, unsa ang gisulte? Then he said unto them, "O fools and slow of heart." To believe all that the prophets have spoken. Unya sa mga ingon ato kanila, o mga buo, o luya sa kasing kasing, aron sa pagdo sa tanan ng gisulti sa mga propeta. Here's what Jesus said: Kung wala ka nagatuo sa mga pulong sa tanan propeta, buo ka. Did you see it? That's what he said. Bisan kita sa tuli. Oh, nagatuo ko ni Kristo pero nagduo duo ko kabayan sa Old Testament. Si Kristo nagiyong buo ka. He used. Did you see it? I didn't say it. He said it. Oh fools! The prophets have spoken. Listen, these are not only the prophets. Moses was called a prophet. Look, see Moses on Nagsula to Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. David was called a prophet, and David is the one who wrote much of Psalms. The Bible, the Old Testament, was mostly written by the prophets. Let's look at this here. How much of the Old Testament did Jesus believe? Look at verse 27. I'll give you a hint. All of it. And beginning at Moses. Stop. Beginning at what? What books did Moses write? Genesis. Genesis. So that means like Star Shasta Sino Dana. And all the prophets. Here's all the prophets, right? Who's the last prophet? Malachi. Right? So next star shadri. Nagtapus the day. Nagatusha Satan. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures. When they use the word all the scriptures, it means the whole Old Testament. New Testament. All the scriptures, the things concerning himself. See Jesus nakto o ikan ni Moses nakto ni Malachi. In the Old Testament, it's very clear: homosexuality and lesbianism are sin. See Jesus nakto ni Anna. Say, well, I don't agree. You can argue with God, but you're wrong. He's right, and he's gonna win. But there's a second argument. Number one, Jesus, si Jesus nagato sa tibok Old Testament. Number two, number two, Jesus defined marriage as one man and one woman. Matthew chapter nineteen, verse four. Take a look at it with me, if you would, please. Matthew chapter nineteen, verse four. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Matthew nineteen four. I'll tell you why our world is going crazy. Ako masulti ni Moses Rasa, mga pamilya, mabunga, mga relasyon, na dapat tungod na buwang takabayan sa human sexuality. Kinahanan ta mo balik sa pulong sa Diyos, ang iyang dalin, mag-work pa ang tod karon. God's way works! Daghang batano na libog jud kabayan sa ilang sexuality. Pasin ba yun ko? No, you're not. God made you a man. No, no. Ang Diyos na gino ni mong alala ng babae. Look at Matthew chapter 19 verse 4. Before we read, I have a question. How many genders are there? Two. Two. Not 27. There are some universities that are teaching there's 20 genders coming. And then they pretend that they believe in science. Ang akong kinamanghura ang kabalo na ilalaki na ibabae. That's all. God doesn't make any third genders. Look at it. Matthew chapter 19 verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them what? Male and female. Huwag siya aming tubag. Kinang pulong ni Cristo. Huwag siya may tibog, may tubag, huwag may ingong ato kanila. Kamu ba wala makabasa nga siya nga may buha kanila sa sinugdan, nagbuha kanila nga lalaki o babae? God made men and women. 
you might be confused, but you are a man or you are a woman. Pasin na kaisa kitsa kasin kasin o na libo ka kabayan sa imong sexuality pero lalaki ka o babae. Delika dito sa tonga tonga. God only made two. Kung doa ka tao, magminyo, magkasa. Oh, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's look at it again. Look at verse, verse 5. Verse 5. I got ahead of myself. Look at verse 5. And said, for this cause shall a what? Amen. Leave father and mother and shall cleave to his what? Wife. A wife is a woman. That's deep, isn't it? I know in Tagalog, asawa can mean spouse. Abana or asawa. But wife in English never means husband. Okay? Wife is a woman. You see that? Jesus said, God made male and female, and a man shall leave his father and cleave to his wife, watch now, and they twain shall be one flesh. Anyone who is mature knows what that means to become one flesh. Listen very carefully. Homosexuality, homosexuals can do some very grotesque things, but they cannot become one flesh. It's not possible. Look at verse 6. Matthew chapter 19, verse 6. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, look at that phrase, God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Listen to this statement right here. God, not the government, joins people together in marriage. Did you know that Adam and Eve didn't have a marriage license? Now, I'm not against marriage license. I have one. But I'm not married because I have a license. I'm married because I stood before a preacher and he said, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And when we got married, God is the one who puts a marriage together. God will never put together a marriage of a man and a man or a woman and a woman. It will never happen. So the government can pass laws if they want. My nation has gone absolutely insane. Buong gaayo. Pwede ang government mo sunod sa dautang culture magsula sa bagong balaod pero ang ilang balaod dili jud magchase sa ilang balaod. Marriage is a man and a woman. God will never respect anything else. A man who says, well, this is my husband. God says, no, he's not. Nakapil ka sa salah I'm saying today marriage is a man and a woman joined together before God now listen and sex in any other situation is sin and sexuality is a person in any situation Mao ang salat, period. And that's what our text verse is talking about this morning. See, Solomon, nagwarn sa yung anak si Reboam, kabahin sa dakong paligro sa sexual na salat. He's not only saying, son, you be careful of the wicked woman, but we could also say, daughter, you be careful of the wicked men. It's two way. But I want you to notice verse 19, just one sentence. Unsang paligro sa sexual sins at dautang paghikilawas. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 19. None, watch now, none 
that go unto her return again. Wala ay usa nga nag-ato kaniya nga makabalik pag-usap. Now remember, nag-study siya kabahin sa dautang babae, nag-warn siya sa ayang anak kabahin sa dautang babae, and he says, wala ay usa nga mo-ato kaniya, meaning makasalauban kaniya. So he's worried about sexual sin. So we could say the same thing about a woman. Bisa nun sa babae nga mo-ato kaniya, mo-ato sa lalaki, makasalak sila. What does he say? None that go under her return again. Wala ay usa nga nagato kaniya nga makabalik pag usab. And what does that mean? Sang passport na. This is not saying if someone commits sexual sin, they cannot come back to God. That is not what this is teaching. Dali kani nagtudlo kung tao makasalad yas sa sexual o mo uh, mo layo gikan sa Dios dili kanin nagtulo dili sila makabalik sa Ginoo as now this is teaching Solomon's own family proves that that is not what this is teaching dili kana ang, ang gitulo ni ini nga verse remember Solomon kinsa iyang mama kabalo mo sa mama ni Solomon Bathsheba do you remember na inung the kasi story ni David o Bathsheba si David nagawa sa sawa Sa, sa uban sa yung mga sundalo, Uriah the Hittite, one of David's mighty men, maisogon siya para sa yung hari, nindong asundalo, o samtang si Uriah na dito sa gubat, si David nakakita sa yung asawa dito sa palay, o nagkuha niya, o nakasala uban ni Bathsheba. Kikan niya ng dawat ang relasyon, naburo siya, Nayanak, nainom dumo sa naitabo sa anak, namatay siya. Dayon, nainom dumo ba? Human nga si Uriah namatay, si David nagpadala sa mensahe nga ito si Joseph, ni Joel. Naging mong ipadala, ipo, ibutan ni Uriah dito doo sa guba. Dayon, atras na biya at siya arong mamatay siya sa guba. Siya nag-murder ni Uriah arong makaminyo ni Bathsheba. Si Uriah namatay, nagminyo siya ni Bathsheba, ang anak ang bata, na tao, tayo namatay. Kabal mo, kinsang ikaduwa ng anak ni Bathsheba? Sama. Ang Diyos nagpasailo ni David. Ang Diyos naggamit pa sa kinabuhit ni David. Di ba? Ang Diyos naggamit ni, ni, ni David sa pagsulat sa daghang lain songs, human sa iyang sala. Uban sa pinakanindo songs, maong songs, Human sa salat niya. Psalm 51. You ever read that one? Kung makasalat ka o nagbati ka, hugaw, tapos ka mawa Psalm 51. Psalm 32. Psalm chapter 6. I believe, Psalm chapter 6. Psalm chapter... Uh, uh, the others escape me now. But daghang songs kisula human sa salat niya. Now, wait a minute. If God is using him to write scripture, keep aside at Jicha, di ba? So, is this verse teaching... Kung tao makasalapok sexual, dili siya makabalik sa Diyos. No. David's life proves that. So, unsang gitodlo ni ining a verse? What is this verse teaching? None that go under her return again. Unsang pasabot? I just turned too many pages. Listen now. Pamina. Sexual sin does not have to end your spiritual life. Makabalik ka sa Diyos, makakuha ka sa pagpasailo, o ang Diyos mo gamit ni Bupagasab, sama na siya nagamit ni David. Let's just be frank. This is the big thing. Dagang tao sa mong simbahan ka ron, na sexual sala sa inyong kaagi. O ang simbahan na rin, nakatabang ninyo, we picked up the pieces, nag-ayaw sa inyong kinuhi, o ang Diyos nagagamit. Dagang tao rin, na naisala sa kaagi. Nagpasalamat ko sa Diyos para sa inyong dagong grasya ka na to. He uses us again. Salamat sa Diyos para sa iyong kahibulungan ng grasya. Where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. This church proves if someone sins sexually, God will forgive and use you again. Wait a minute. Then what does this verse mean? None that go under her, meaning walay tao nga maka, if we would say in English, no one who goes down the road of sexual sin. You understand that expression? 
Can I say that in a sign? Will that make sense? What I found about BAA is that balance a sexual sin. People understand that concept? Billy Claro Joy. We could say it this way. Well, I down a maglapas. Step over the line in the sexual sin. Well, I usen a nagaatu kaniyan. Well, I usen a maka salatuk sexual. Nga makabalik pag usab. What does that mean? If it doesn't mean you can't come back to God, kung wala makapasabot, dali kang makabalik sa ginoo, unsang pasabot. Here's what it means. Kung kinyang linya, dere, putlik pa ka. Dere, ang lugar sa seksyo nga sala. When a person steps over the line in the sexual sin, watch, you can never go back to the life you had before that sin. Ang sexual nga sala makausob sa imong tibo kinabuhi. It doesn't mean you can't come back to God. It means once you step over, it's one way. You can't go back to the way it was before. Everything changes with sexual sin. Listen to me. I want every young person to look at me. Come on, mga mga batano, wala pa nai, wala pa sa yo. Come on, take me out of my place. Come on, mga batano, put lit pa ka. Wala pa ka na sa yo pag sexual diha sa imong kinabuhi. Wala put lit pa man ka pero hindi apon and not just virgin but pure. You understand? You can be you can be very impure and still be a virgin. I mean, put lit. I mean, wala itao na na hikap hikap kanimo. I mean, no, wala itao na gamit sa imong lawas. Pure. Kamu mo batano, pumina. Don't look at people in our church or others outside who made mistakes in the past and now they're serving God. Don't look at their life and say, oh, it must be okay. It's not okay. Did it okay, man? Every single person in our church who has ever made a mistake in sexual sin would tell you it's not worth it. Delete worth it. It's not worth it. You ought to write this down and put it somewhere. The pain is not worth the pleasure. Ang kasakit delete ang ayon. Delete ang ayon sa kasakit. Ang tama sa sa kalinawan, kalingawan o kahilayan o however you say that pleasure. Listen to me now, young people. Young people, the world is lying to you. On television, on mga love songs, on mga movies, na makakanimo. Sila mo pakita ni mo sa mga pleasure, sa mga lingaw lingaw sa salap. Pero dalit sila mo pakita ni mo sa sakit. None that go under her return again. It changes your whole life. Praise God, we can help people, but the people who've made mistakes, they'll tell you it's not worth it. Sexual sin. Listen to me, young people. I'm gonna be honest. Sexual sin does bring pleasure. Dakong linga linga sa sexuality. Dako joy. But listen, pero mas dako ang kasakit. Sexual sin brings pleasure that lasts a little while. Dalit madugay pero na na linga linga ka joy. But sexual sin brings pain that lasts a lifetime. Mahatag ni mo ang sakit na madugay hangtod sa katapusan sa imong kinabuhi. Nagpasalamat ko sa gino para sa matag kinabuhi nga gitabangan na mo that is the truth of the church. We put lives together. But young people, dali ka kinalan magsulay sa sala aron makakakon na sakit jod. Bad grammar na. Sorry kayo. You don't need to try sin to find out that it hurts. If you don't believe me, why don't you ask the people in our church? Just ask them. Is Pastor Mike right? They'll tell you. None that go unto her return again. Well, I use and I got to and I got to and I got to and I got to and this world has convinced us, oh, it's just a little fun. No, it's sin and it wrecks your life. Only God can put 
puts your life back together after sin breaks it. And thank God He can. And thank God He does. And thank God He has at our church. And by the way, we will never turn people away from our church because they've made sexual, made mistakes sexually in the past. We will love them and bring them in and we'll help. And with God's help, we will rebuild their lives. None that go unto her return again. Well, I also and I got to Kenya and I'm a kabalik pagusab. I got to uncle's story about a Christian young lady in a school at a secular college. By the way, that's a very dangerous thing. Da gan patinta sa secular university. Palibotan chukasa da gan salam da gan kadautan. And this girl, she was pure, berhin jutsha, but not just berhin putlecha. You understand putle? You will I saw or will I say you? She was clean. He palibot siya sa daghan dautan babay sa yung mga klase na matag matag weekend Saturday and Sunday sila mag experience at tanam ka dautan sa kalibutan nag party all the dancing and all the sexual we say in English promiscuity meaning not experiment the other sexual sin matag simana. Matag lunas, I mean. Ang, ang young mga classmates, mabalik sa class, huwag mag, magpasigarbo sila, kabahin sa ilang mga buha sa weekend. Magbinuwang sa babae, wala kayo lingaw-lingaw. Pero hindi apon ka. They mock her, magbinuwang. And by the way, if you try to stand for right, somebody's gonna make fun of you. Stand right, stand anyway. Tengo gragi apon. Mas may ang buwang mo katawa kanako kaysa madawat akong kinabuhi upan sa mga buwangon. Every week sila sa lunes magbinuwang kaniya, magbugal-bugal. And every time she answered the same way. Here she is, wala pa naglapas. Here they are, oh, linga linga me. Her answer was always the same. Anytime I want, I can become like you. But you can never again become like me. Bisan kanusa pwede ko may sort may sama kaninyo pero kamo dali jud pwede may sama kanako pagusab. See, it's one way. It changes your life forever. I'm simply saying this morning, none that go unto her return again. Will I use ng nagato kaniya ng magabalik magabalik pagusab? Mikaw maglapas na sa linya sa seksyon na sala ang imong kinabuhi dali jud mahisama pagusab. Can I say it that way? Meaning be like it was before? Mahisama pagusab? Be the same again? If you don't believe that, I have a challenge for you. Read the story of the life of David. Pwede ka magkampara sa ayang kinabuhi sa wala pa siya nakasala uban ni Bathsheba it was over here that Amnon raped his daughter, Tamar. It was over here that Absalom murdered Amnon. It was over here that Absalom betrayed his father. It all happened over here after he crossed the line. None that go under her return again. Well, I use the Nagato Kaniang and Makabalik Pag Usam Matag Batan on the Rika Rumbunta, that of Makino's decision. Apu Makpil in Sakon Gaulion Aputle, Hang Tod Makasal Jutko. Did I say that wrong? I will keep my, if you are still pure, completely pakahang tut karon. And let me say something else here. When you get married, you're still pure. You say, pero wala na berhin, pero na menyo na, putli kihapon. Are you listening to me? It's not, I'm going to stay pure until I'm married. No, I'm married now, and I'm still pure, and I still don't want to cross the line. Putli kihapon. Every young person, some of you maybe have made that decision before. Banning about nagimos the decision sa una. 
Ako magpabiling putli. Tung you young people, only junior church kids. Nindot kayo na mga fifth and sixth graders dari karon. Don't, I'm not just talking to the girls. Darang babae, maghimo sa decision. Magpabiling ko putli ang tod magkasal. What about the young men? The men need to stay pure too. Well, I call it Tapakama decision, they let go of the sexual salat. Kinala, hey, why don't you decide? Ang akong unang halo, mahita bo, diha sa kasala. You hear me? Unang first kiss. Oh, Pastor Mike. So old fashioned. Malipay jud ang akong kaminyon! Well, I'm a high. You know, Mom Ruth has never looked at me and said, my other boyfriend kisses better than you do. She's never said that. You know why? She never kissed anybody except me. What's a kabalo? Para niya akong pinakahana sa paghalok. Hana chut! So June 9, 2007, Akul Simamrut Naktinuk's a platform on Magawali Naktinuk Dikto, and we said our vows, and the preacher said, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. He didn't say you may kiss the bride again. He said you may kiss the bride. Do you know why? It was the first time. Ang unang panahon kita naghawit sa kamo. Na dito Friday night sa rehearsal sa atong wedding. Like practice me. Ang um, first time ako naghalo ni Mom Ruth, na ito bo sa luyo sa simbahan humang sa kasal. Well, it wasn't quite over yet, pero naminyo na kami ni Gawas, sila nagkanta sa song na mi sa Gawas. That was the first time I ever put my arms around my wife. I said, oh, Pastor Maya, so, man, do you live in the 1700s? No, I live in a happy family. How you doing? Say, Pastor Mike, nobody does that anymore. And have you noticed how terrible our family relationships are in the Pitan? Nagamatnon baka na maot jod ang mga relasyon sa halos na nan pamilya sa the Pitan? God's way is still the best way. Ang pagi sa Joseph ang dalan sa Joseph ang pinakamayo ng dalan. Why did you just decide my first kiss? Hey, young people, ako unang halok. My hate the bulls off of Kassan. The first person I kiss would be the one I say, I will stay with you forever. To have and to hold from this day forward. So good, Karon. Till death do us part. Hang toy, my bulag ta, pinagi sa kamatay. Why don't you decide? The first person, the first time I give someone a hug. It will be my spouse after the wedding. Why don't you decide the first person I hold hands with be my spouse? Me and Mom Ruth never held hands until we got married. You didn't even hold them. No, never did. Never did. Now we can all we want. Wala na ilimitado. Sa among Bible college na mga tao, nag-sorry, sorry sa always, nagbantay sa mga, mga dating couples. Nga, yeah, doon mo. Hawa, hawa. Wala joke. Wala mahay, boy. Wala ko'y mahay. Akong maghagit ni mo karon. He mo decision. I'm gonna be pure. Say, Pastor Mike, I mean, can we just hold hands? Dali ka matagbaw sa paghawit sa kamot lang. Kung maghawit sa kamot, ganahan maghalok. Kung maghalok, ganahan maghalok. Di noon! Ang Diyos naghimo sa kinaiyat sa tao. Suod ang kasing-kasing. Ang pagsuod, kasuod. Ang kasuod sa kasing-kasing, padulong sa kasuod sa lawas. O kung maghikap gamay, karahan mas daghan. 
tenor? Kenal tu yang sejauh berang plano ni ayam mau hikap hantar minyak na arong bolak nail bolak nail matado. Our problem is we say, well, the liku ganan maburo, so aku mag hold sa head, aku mag halok, pero mag stop ko. No, you won't. Kulang ang imong pagkamapuk nganon. Your self control isn't strong enough. If you hold hands, you will end up. Mm, you know what you'll end up. Is this message frank enough for us today? How we doing? Okay, Tata. Watch you young people decide today. I'm gonna be pure. I come up with bailing put lid. Pastor Michael, what about the people who made mistakes in the past? Okay. Like I say, oops, I won't. Okay. But you can decide starting today I'll be pure. So good, Karol. I put late go. They make a change to Kagi. Salam for just present grasha. But they make a change to Kagi. But it's so good, Karol. Listen to me. Just because you crossed the line before doesn't mean you have to keep doing it. Why don't you decide the next kiss? I want to not hello, and I saw him kasa. I want to not hello, and I saw him kasa. I'm just saying today, God's way is still the best way. And now let me take a minute, talk to you for just a second. Kamunga na isayup sa una. Listen to me right here. Kamunga na isayup sa uno ang Dios. The guy is just a gracia. The answer ang kinabuhi. Nagamit pa siya kanimo, soul winning ka, nagalagat sa ginoo. You listen to me. Kinahang lang ka magsupport ta sa akong pagwale kabay ni ini. You have a wonderful opportunity. When Pastor Mike stands up and preaches this way, instead of being embarrassed, you have a great opportunity to tell the young people that are in your life, you hear that message by Pastor Mike? He's right. Hey, you parents. Some of you, your parents. English, English. Your children are older than your marriage. You listen now. When your kids get a little older, but they're going to figure it out. When mom and I were what, eight, nine, ten years old, one day they're going to realize, mom and dad, I'm almost seven years long, but I'm uncle eight. You listen to me. Don't you lie to your kids. Here's what you said. Yeah, so they are uncle and mama. They found them for me. Well, let me pastor and I'm going to come out with the Well, let me pastor some of them. Pero dali mi ganahan ay kao masayop sa makanimo. Kanamo. Kanang ming ay kao maghimo sa sakto. Kanang ming ay kao magsunod sa pagwalit ni Pastor Mike. You be honest with your kids. That's the only way. If you try to hide it, they will never trust you. They're not stupid. Kids aren't stupid. As soon as they can do math, they're going to figure it out. Makakwenta sila. Tell them the truth. Masayop ni. Pero... Dako ang paglaong para nimo mo kung anak ay mayong simbahan makatabag ni mo. You listen to me. Instead of being embarrassed, now of course it's natural. The Bible talks about that where Paul says, those things you did, now whereof you are now ashamed in Romans chapter 6, I think it's verse 21 or 22. Siyempre, naulaw, kabahin sa mga sayo sa kaagi, but you can use those mistakes to protect the young people of our church. Makagamit ka sa yung mga sayo sa pagtabang sa uban nga dali sila mahisama kanimo. You can tell him, Pastor Mike's right, it's not worth it. Dili ang ayan. I'd like to challenge our young people today. Kamo nga, hinlo pa, putli pa, Himo ang decision karon bunta. Ako magpabili putli. Hangtod sa akong kasal o human sa akong kasal. I will be pure. On every head bowed and right close.